In the yogic system, uh, the time between summer solstice and winter solstice is generally referred to as sadhana pada, particularly between starting from the Guru Purnima, which is the first full moon after the summer solstice or the southern run of the sun to the winter solstice or a few days after that till probably 4th of January or 4th or 5th of January. This phase is referred to as sadhana pada or time to do sadhana. At a time, particularly in the northern hemisphere, when sadhana yields its best results, so the sadhana pada is always more important because in the process of making anything happen, what is in our hands to do that right is most important. What is not in our hands, we only have to wait. When we say sadhana, we are talking about things which are in our hands, we can do something about it. And that becomes important because it is in our hands. We've always been talking about this in so many ways. We watered the plants, we manured the plants, this is important. Flower happened, that's not your doing, that will happen as a consequence. I'm like manure, no? Manure, but if you sink your roots into me, for sure you will flower. No, no, don't play to manure, it doesn't work, you have to sink your roots in tight. Manure doesn't look like flower, doesn't smell like flower, but for sure a plant will flower, isn't it? That's all you have to do. This year, Sadhguru is offering volunteers the possibility to spend sadhana pada at the powerfully consecrated space of the Isha Yoga Center. The period of stay will begin on Guru Purnima, July 27th and extend till Mahashivratri. It will be an opportunity to offer oneself through volunteering and sadhana to realize one's ultimate potential.